also known as Herman Frost, and this is Otaku Weekly. In this video, we're going to be doing a movie review of X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, I know it's been out for a minute now, but I just couldn't get to it. I've been doing some few things, and just be happy I'm doing it now. Hmm? But anyway, this movie, it was, it was pretty freaking good. I mean, it started off in a freaking depressing future. Um, Kitty, the mutant, she actually has a group. Under Moscow, they actually rendezvous with mutants such as Storm, Logan, uh, Xavier, Magneto. They meet up. They decide to let's fix this problem. And the problem is that Sentinels are fucking taking over the entire world. What their plan was, they were going to kill every mutant and enslave every human that carries the mutant gene that actually creates future mutants so what was the cure for this enslave humans kill mutants and they actually came up with a plan let's go back in the past because kitty's power is to send someone consciousness in the past so they didn't know the extent of that power so she said she could possibly send someone back months but decades that could possibly kill someone seeing that Logan was the pop, the the best choice for the job seeing that his healing factor they sent Logan back he was there to recruit recruit mutants not recruit he was there to talk to Xavier and Magneto to tell them about their future and it was a lot of shit happening Magneto was underground for starters Professor Xavier he gave up hope lost the school and because mostly all the mutants were drafted and the teachers as well so Trask Trask he's a scientist that's creating robots called Sentinels and they're created to hunt down and kill mutants because they are a great threat towards humanity which he sees it so he, he if he gets his hands on mystique it's game over the 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 mission for this is get Xavier and Magneto together so they can stop mystique from killing Trask if they kill, if she kills Trask, they're going to get her DNA, they're going to kill her, get her DNA, and give it to the Sentinels to create the Super Sentinels that's in the future. Sounds like a Dragon Ball Z plot, doesn't it? So anyway, we see a lot of amazing things happen. Quicksilver, he actually appears. Bishop, he appears-ish, but um, it was a good movie. I mean, they actually did all. They actually planned it out good, like to show the scenes from past, future, past, future, past, future. They blended it just right. Logan and Xavier, Mag, not not Magneto. Logan, Xavier, Beast, and Quicksilver. Their mission was to free. Magneto, which they did, and that scene, it was so freaking great. And Xavier couldn't lie to save his life. He was all, we're here from Special Agent C-D-E-I-N-G. If you watch the movie, you know what I'm getting at. It was hilarious. Logan just took those guards out like, blah. And Quicksilver actually saved the group from getting shot that scene was so crazy he was moving so fast everything else was in slow motion freaking great and get this Magneto as crazy as he was about Mystique aka Raven he was gonna kill her just like that to prevent that future he actually told her hey hey if it means killing you to get a better future, I, I, I gotta do it. Sorry, you cute, but I gotta kill you. So he was gonna kill her in a meeting. Trask had set up with people that I'm guessing generals of the war, presidents, whatnot. 
Tras actually built a device that locates mutants. He actually located Mystique because she was in disguise in the meeting and they were going to kill her. And that's when Magneto, Logan, yada yada yada, other mutants came there and saved her. And Magneto took control of a pistol and was actually going to shoot her to kill her. But he actually just got her in the leg. So later on, because of Magneto's fuck up, they actually had Ravens, also known as Mystique's DNA, on the streets. And they took it and put what little they had in the Sentinels and the machines and whatnot. He was all like, just imagine what I can do with spinal fluid, brain tissue. I mean, all that. He was all like, just imagine robots that can duplicate their abilities with the press of a button. And he has it out for mutants. You can, you can tell that he fucking hates mutants or envies them one of the two. So... You can tell Magneto in this movie, he's actually only helping himself. That's his main goal. Basically, he's doing a Loki. Just participating for the time being. And when it comes, he's, he's basically going to just help himself out. So basically, later on in the movie, Magneto has this scene where he lifts up an entire stadium. Just imagine this. In the other movie first class he had trouble moving a satellite Xavier had to help him so just imagine how strong he got if he lift up an entire stadium that can suit damn near 80,000 people up in the air he he lifted it up in the air dropped it around the White House so no one could escape I'm assuming he was there to kill Someone, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm just, I'm just saying someone acting like I don't know who it was. <clears throat> so, Trask, he actually got into the safe room with the president and some other people. Then his device started going off. He was all like, "Oh my God, one of the mutants are in here." Magneto pulls that room out, but before all this happens, Magneto takes control of the Sentinels. I mean, Magneto has a basic, he basically has a fucking mini army on his side that can kill humans and mutants in the blink of an eye. So, Magneto is not someone you want to piss off at that moment. So, he actually takes control of the Sentinels. And when, he, when he's about to kill the president. Oh, but it also, but it wasn't the president. It was Mystique in disguise as the president. She actually transforms back into Mystique, shoots him in the neck with a plastic pistol because he can't control that pistol because it's not metal. And she be she whooped his ass. But before all this happened, he dogged Logan, put metal metal rods through his body. Tossed him in the water. Logan, he was done for. And while this is happening in the future, all the mutants are getting killed. Even the ones that made cameo appearances, they're getting killed as well. There's this one mutant that has the power to jump through portals. I forgot her name at the moment, but she died. Uh, Storm, Bishop, everyone died. Professor, um, Magneto, everyone Kitty even got it. But, um, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Um, while all this is happening, um, they actually convince us, while everyone's dying in the future now, they actually convince Mystique not to kill Trask. Because if that happens, their fucking future is over. So she decides to go along with it. And Xavier lets Magneto and Mystique go. And Trask lives, thus meaning they live in the future. So, I was like, wow, that, that fucking story was told so 
that movie was told, they told the fucking story greatly. And action in it as well. That's that's hard to come by, telling the story and have non crazy ass action scenes like that as well. And comedy. That, that's what that's what I would like right there. That was an amazing movie. If you like stories being told the correct way and whatnot. Also, Logan wakes up. He's all like, where the fuck am I at? He didn't say that, but he was looking like, I'm in the bed. He, he woke up to see himself in the school for mutants. And then he sees all these mutants, even the one that did cameo appearances, died in the, in the alternate future. They were alive in that school. And he was all like, what the hell? And he even saw the one he loved, Gene. And there he's like, Gene, it's you. He was going to touch her face. Then Cyclops, the older Cyclops, he was all like, hey, buddy. He grabbed his hand. He was even happy to see Cyclops. That's how happy he was. And he was all, nothing's changed. <laughs> he's looking like, damn, thought I had her this time. Everyone's looking like, are you okay, Logan? Because Kitty's power is no one will remember it but Logan. But Xavier seen his power. He can see it into other minds. He remembered it as well, and he was all, welcome back, Logan. So, after the movie went off, we see the next X-Men movie project, project which is Apocalypse. And we see Apocalypse getting praised in Egypt by his followers. And in the back we see the Four Horsemen. Which I believe is going to be either out of these five. Magneto, Mystique, um, um, oh my god, I forget, I forgot, Xavier, Wolverine, or Jean. When she goes into like Phoenix, it has to be one of those five, not even possibly even four of the five. I know it's going to be one of them. I don't. I'm, I'm just guessing it probably be one of them. But anyway, this is my X Men Days of Future Past movie review. While the old X Men song is playing in the background, movie review. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share the video on your favorite social media website. This is Ronnie, also known as Herman Frost. This is a talk weekly over and out. And don't forget to check out my other video about Anime Convention Survival Guide. Peace.